In three words, computer science is uh, creative, um, complex, and diverse. So our passion and focus at The Purse is ensuring that all students are equipped with the coding skills and the computer science knowledge that they need as they go through our journey and the time with us. And that starts right from the Pelican, where the very youngest are learning about program instructions and how to arrange them in order. And they're starting to code on, on real BBC micro bits. Rosie. It did say Rosie, didn't it? Try again, try again. Good job. O S. I -E. and, that's my, that's and then in the prep, they're continuing their programming using iPads. And at the upper, where they join us, we're focusing on not only on their coding development, but also as we look towards the GCSE, where these days the students sit and exam actually coding on a computer, but again to the A level, where they're going to be developing the coding skills that they need to equip them for everything at university and beyond. So our older students are always looking out for opportunities to showcase the skills that they've acquired in their time with us. That includes this example where students were recently working on a project for the International Space Station. The Astro Pi project is a competition run by the European Space Agency and it allows teams of students across the world to run code on the International Space Station on a number of uh, Astro Pi computers um, which have lots of sensors on them um, and teams use this to gather as much data as they can um, and then they answer a question which they put forward in the initial stages of the competition. So I took part in this with another student in my year and uh, there were around 800 teams around the, around the world um, and we achieved a runner-up spot uh, last year which we were very proud of. We were taking a few hundred images of Earth from the space station so it's quite cool to see all the satellite images come together. And then after that we had to analyse our, our data. We went through each of the pixels in the photos and calculated a value for it depending on what we were looking for. So we might have been looking for how healthy was the vegetation. And after we had all of these photos, which were calculated with their correct pixel values, then we compared them together and we tried to find land which had been deforested that could be reforested. And I think just in the global climate, um, I think it's quite an important thing to look at. So having experienced success in their time with us, it's really important that our older students are joining in and feeding that back to the next generation of Perth students. So for example, our sixth formers work with the year nine students, where they're designing a buggy maze solver competition in which students have to not only design the hardware for the buggy and put it together themselves, but also write the Python code that is gonna solve the maze. The reason that the subjects are being chosen very broadly by both girls and boys actually is they really see the, the relevance of the subject um, in, in the uh, sort of the wider world. Uh, it's a subject that gives them um, some skills that they can take whatever they want to do in their future life. So, you know, they're not going to be all computer programmers. I'm, I'm certainly going to have some software engineers, but, um, you know, in the majority of cases, they can take those skills and it gives them problem solving skills, it gives them uh, communication skills, it gives them um, good uh, sort of attention to detail skills. They can take those uh, and use those across a really wide variety of, of cases. And I think it's the the programming aspect in particular that they really feel gives them something that is with them for life. What's really exciting over the last few years is how the Purse has been able to contribute to the national project of the growth in computer science. In fact, we've now established ourselves as a national centre of excellence in which we're not only working with local primary schools, but actually we're writing a coding competition as part of the UK's leading coding umbrella organisation, the UKCT. More than five, six thousand students take that across the UK and across the world. The feeling you get when you solve a problem is, I can't quite explain it, it's just amazing. For me, computer science is mainly something I can enjoy with my friends. And I also think it's really useful for the future because everything uses technology nowadays. Sometimes when we all get stuck, then it's really fun for us to help each other and when it finally does work then it's like a burst of joy. 